Hey guys and gals, so I wanted to uh, do an update on the beginner's grass tutorial using Blender's particle system that I put out a few days ago because I realized I made a huge, huge error. Um, so this is this is the result we got before. Now I've turned the number of particles down from 25,000 down to 7,500 and I've cut the length in half just to uh, just so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. But yeah, that was quite unrealistic unless it was a distant scene that was pretty basic grass. So anyways, uh, Derek from BlenderTech.com here. I'm going to show you how to update this to make much more advanced grass very easily based on what we already learned. And so if you enjoy it or learn something from the video, consider liking it and consider subscribing for more Blender, Unity 3D, coding, and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly, don't forget our model create your way so last time all we had was a mix shader or sorry no we just had a diffuse shader with a color ramp going into it all going into our material output and that gave us this output just basic green grass on our brown plane and it was as simple as that and it worked if you look at it like say if it was a far off scene yeah sure that's fine but close up it looks terrible now when we do it the proper way it looks much 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 more realistic something like that now it's a little bit yellow on the tip so I might play with the sliders here just to give us a little more greenness and you can also uh, you can also play with the um, with the settings ease cardinal b spline those are some classics linear is going to give you some different looks and constant is going to give you an interesting look uh i like i like ease the most i'm also going to add in one last uh color node at the very very end which is going to be almost a brown so i'm just going to turn the value down a lot and change the hue to about 0 decimal 0 six, 7 maybe not that much maybe 125 but almost a brown color at the very tip so anyways other than that let me just unmute all these and show you how i set this up so all we had to do it's the exact same thing we did before we just added a grass particle system which was hair with advanced settings we uh we upped the segments we upped the the uh the number of steps it was a strand renderer we wanted curve segments that were thick types we wanted cycles hair rendering checked off um curve subdivisions was at five we had the shape at zero root was at zero decimal ten roughly scaling was at zero decimal zero one tip was at zero decimal zero one to zero decimal zero five we wanted the tip closed um brownonian was about zero point six fifty Mass was stuck. We left it at one size. We bumped down to zero decimal zero one. Um, rotation we set to velocity slash hair with full randomness on both sides and a tiny bit of phase. Emitter geometry from the normal we put into a quarter zero decimal two fifty and hair dynamics, um, respectively going down the list. Uh, stiffness 0 decimal 8, mass 0 decimal 1, bending 12, 0, 0, uh, dampening 1.60 and 1 for spring and air respectively and 24 steps in the quality. And then the emission we were emitting from the faces since we only had a plane we were emitting from at random using jittered or random it didn't really make a lot of difference anyways so to get this uh much much better looking grass i realized that i totally left out the basics of using a color ramp node with a hair system so we can get rid of all these extra shaders actually i'm going to do that i'm going to start from fresh here so i'm going to delete this glossy delete this translucent delete this mix delete this so all we had was this let me just get it closer and zoom in here we had a color ramp with our dark 
dark dark green to a dark green to a grassy green to a light green to a yellow and now I've just added in a brown on the tip for the burnt look and then um we played with the factor till we got it the way we wanted we plugged it right into the diffuse shader which went right into our output and if I render this it'll take a second because I've got a, a fairly high uh, res HDR image in the background we got this mess it looked a little bit better because I had uh, about four times the number of, of uh, particles emitting number of strands but anyways, the major addition that you needed that I totally forgot about was um, to add, I'm just going to turn on screencast keys here though, I don't know if you can see them in all modes, was to add in, so we're going to go shift A, and we want a input uh, hair info, and then we want intercept into the factor so that's basically gonna I think it's a form of ray casting which essentially just takes the length of the hair and allows it to have different values at different points along it I believe is how that works I'm not a total master I just know this is how it works and so when you render this out you'll see the major difference right away all of a sudden we have much 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 more realistic looking grass and this is only at let's see um this is only at 10 samples so you could see already how much more realistic it is let me uh, let me bump the settings up here Let's just go up to say 50, uh, 50 samples and let it render out. I'll let it do a few squares. You can see once we get to something with some roots, there we go. Perfect. That square there will work awesome. So you can see how right at the root, it's a very, very, very dark color. Then it gets to be a dark green, a lighter green, lighter green, lighter green. And then it gets into this yellow color. And then at the very tip, just, just barely now, it's brown, that burnt look. There may be a little bit too much yellow in here, but um, given that we gave this, um, this particle system a lot of randomness, especially in the hair dynamics um, and the Brownonian uh, settings, the, the physics settings in general, we get a really random look. So um, in terms of making a quick grass system, that is as quick and easy as it gets. You just set up your simple hair system as we did before, diffuse shader, color ramp with your nice little um, grass, um, what would you call that, color color ramp really. And then you just need uh, the intercept setting from hair info into the factor and you get that much, much more realistic. So you now see how we can, we can get a much closer shot and it would look much more realistic. I mean, make an outdoor scene with that in your scene and you're gonna, it's gonna look way better. Throw in some weeds and flowers quickly and, and you're, you're rocking and rolling. Now you can, you can do a little bit better even. So let's, let's stretch this out. So we know, we know what that does. So let's just, uh, let's hit H to hide it. We know our color ramp is good. Let's hit H to hide that. Let's throw it over there. Um, we know our diffuse is fine. So let's hide that, but let's add in. Which I'll bring this in a little closer here so you guys can see. Let's bring in two shaders, a mix and an add. We'll throw the mix in first, and we'll throw the add in right after it. Whoops, not a mix. I'm just going to quickly switch that to a add. So just like that. Now under the mix shader, we want to add a glossy shader just like normal you would do that so that's that's fine just the way it is the roughness is fine just the way it is you could even up it a little bit if you wanted and then we want to add a translucent shader because grass is ever so slightly translucent that's why we're using the add shader just to add that little bit on there 
However, if you render this out like this right now, I'm gonna just turn the samples back down so it's uh, quicker. Turn it back down to 10 preview samples. You'll see that we get white grass. What's the reason for that? Well, that is because the glossy is working fine, but all the translucency is taking a pure white color. If we take it to straight blue, it's gonna give us bluegrass. Or at least it should, yeah, a translucent kind of looking bluish grass with white highlights. So how you fix that is quite easy. You just simply plug your color socket in from the translucent shader into our color ramp node. The color ramp no uh, node can be used that that socket can go out to as many color inputs as as you want so um wow that's some pretty slick looking hair there <laughs> anyway so now if you render this out there's not much difference but you get this that little bit more realism and again you might have to play with the with the glossiness but you can see how much better that looks and again remember this is at low samples so i mean if we up this to 100 samples you know your average uh, your average test render amount and if i um if I set the camera and even just a little bit closer here on some grass strands. Let's go full screen with this. Uh, we'll let it render out. I'll just pause it for a minute. So I don't have to render this all the way through, but you can see how much better that works. And if I, uh, if I up the number of particles back to around 20,000 and uh, animated the uh, the animation that I had in the original video, you would see just how much better it looks. So yeah, um, that is definitely, definitely the way to go for quick gains of grass. And that's about the best result you're gonna get um, using the, using the, the uh, particle hair emitter system. Now, um, Andrew Price's Grass Essentials, I thought that was going to be a tutorial. I didn't know it was going to be a paid package. So I'm actually going to create a new video just showing you basically how you can go about creating your own collection of assets to create something similar to that in a, in a slightly quicker time. Not quite the amazing quality you obviously get from him, but I'm going to show you uh, essentially how you would go through that. So uh, that'll be upcoming next. I, uh, I've been thinking about it for the last few days and I've been doing some practice stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching. Again, as always, from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video or learned something more about the uh, particle systems and the uh, particle in, or the hair info note, I suppose, then consider liking it and consider subscribing for more Blender, Unity, and all those other CG related tutorials we like to put up. If you dislike this video for some reason, please leave us a comment as to what you disliked or email us at info at blendertech.com so that we can continually improve our videos based on your community input. And we also take requests and you call for help. So if there's something you want to see or you're having an issue with something, just leave us a note or give us a jingle and we will try to help you out and we will put something up for you. Anyways, that's all for now. I just wanted to uh, fix that <laughs> simple mistake I made. So anyways, we'll see you guys next time. And remember, create your way.